Groundhog's Runaway Shadow by David Bedricki. The only thing that could keep up with little Phil Groundhog was his shadow. No matter how fast he ran or how high he jumped, his shadow followed his every move. Whether he <laughs> laughed or cried, his shadow was always right there beside him. Even when Phil felt small, his shadow could make him feel bigger. Pretty hippos out walking with gorillas down my street. But everyone grows up, even groundhogs and their shadows. Grown-up groundhogs are expected to act a certain way, but Phil's shadow had other plans. Phil's idea of the perfect vacation was taking the bus to the local beach. Shadow dreamed of visiting faraway places. Phil loved scary movies. Shadow, not so much. Phil enjoyed eating dandelions, clover, and tree bark. Shadow craved something spicy. Phil liked to be on time. Shadow liked to stop and smell the roses. At first, Phil found Shadow's behavior amusing, but a little off-key. Phil's friends found it amazing. Sweet. And a little... Gross. But soon it got annoying. P.U and then downright embarrassing. Phil had had enough. Why can't you be like other shadows? I wish you would just go away. Shadow was crushed. He got angry, but then he thought about it. Phil said he should go away, and he had always wanted to travel. So that night, and the next morning, and a couple of days later, and into the following week, that's exactly what he did. Back at home, Phil tried everything to find his shadow. Oh, shadow, where are you? He posted signs. Lost. Have you seen my shadow? If found, keep shadow out of shade and call 555-5555 immediately. He used the newspaper. <laughs> groundhog seek shadow. Fun-loving homebody groundhog is looking for lost shadow. Please come back, Shadow, so we can hibernate together. I promise things will be different. Then he saw Shadow making news. Mysterious Shadow seen at Eiffel Tower. Without him. Shadow meets Queen. Shadow to star in movie. Shadow rocks White House. Suddenly, Phil's life seemed pretty dull. He longed to be exploring with Shadow. Halfway around the world, Shadow realized something was missing. He had no one to share in his adventures. The thought of searching for Shadow scared Phil silly. He'd have to travel far and wide. But the next morning, and a couple of days later, and into the following week, that's exactly what he did. He searched Shadow? 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 And searched. Shadow? And searched some more. Finally, when he could search no longer, he had an idea. He began to play. And when he did, he heard someone gently accompanying him. The two friends played together. This time, in perfect harmony. And the next morning, and a couple of days later, and forever after, that's exactly what they did. Except sometimes on February 2nd. Shadow?